Hello and welcome. Amid all the hustle and bustle of Marseille, we find this wonderful football theatre, the Orange Vélodrome. My name is Derek Ray and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And with kickoff just moments away, we really should be in for a magnificent occasion. It's France versus Austria. Thanks, Derek. Well, both managers will be reminding their players of starting the game quickly, pinning the opposition back, playing the ball forward and regaining possession as quickly as possible. Hopefully, we get a really good game here. Here's the side France will go with. Hugo Lloris begins in goal. Lucas Hernandez plays with Dayo Upamecano in central defence. N'Golo Conte starts alongside Paul Pogba in central midfield. And still an opportunity. And there it is! A goal! I must say, much to the annoyance of the keeper. Well, let's take another look at this. From the attacking point of view, everything is right. The shot across the goalkeeper making it difficult for him. Players coming in for the rebound. It's an excellent goal. And the keeper could do nothing about it. Well, back underway. And 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Can they create something from here? Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. And unable to keep possession. Well, they no longer have the ball. Paul Pogba. Mbappe with it. And offside it had to be. Crystal clear. Just made sure nothing came of that. We're getting the ball forward. But quick thinking defensively. Mbappe. Coman. Benzema. And players waiting in the centre. The clearance wasn't decisive. Threat over for now, it seems. A possession lost, intercepted. Alaba. Oh, that's a really good run. Not really the ideal clearance. Well, he could really get at the opposition, but nothing comes of it. Mbappe crossing opportunity not messing around with that clearance and taken away he won the ball Coman's pass needed to be better and the advantage accrues to the attacking side. And Benzema at the hub of this attack. Let's see what he does next. Well, unable to hold his run, and that's offside. And very deftly cut out. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Schaub. Can he find the net? Now well, the keeper grabs it. And that's an important intervention. 
Defensive efficiency personified. No let up in the pressing department. Definitely look as though they want to make this move count. This could square the game. Oh, but no! Heroism flashed in front of his eyes. Couldn't take the chance. Well, I think that's a poor miss. They really should be level now. Will they come to regret that? Well, there it is. France just haven't had as much of the ball. But their speed of attack when they win the ball back has been breathtaking. It's been a really good performance from them so far. Well, just one minute of time added on for stoppages here. Will he play it in? And there it is, the half-time whistle. And the ball is moving again, with France looking to build on a largely positive first-half performance here. Mbappe. Well, can they open up the defence here? here. Zabitza. 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 Well, I've got to say, Derry, he was always in control of that situation. Brilliant stuff. They decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Well, aware of the threat, solving the problem. Possibilities inside the box. Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. Well, it can be a bit of a hit or a miss when you try to catch the ball in that manner. Well, it's a difficult skill, and on this occasion, he can't quite pull it off. Just didn't hit it cleanly enough. Well, they've lost possession of the ball. Firing it towards goal! And nicely parried away. Coman. Oh, he's given the ball away unnecessarily. Promising move this from France. Oh, really good reflexes and danger averted. And now the delivery. And a poor ball and easy for the keeper. Take it away. Into the final 20 minutes. Onatovic! How did he manage to reach that? Hugo Lloris. So the corner played into the box. Oh, good save. Excellent header. Well, I still can't believe that didn't go in, Derek. It's a fantastic stop from the keeper, you have to say. 
and continues his run it's still alive Mbappe room to roam here for France it should be and a goal wonderful stuff as they accelerate away from the opposition Well, just look at this again. The speed of counter-attack is so impressive and it makes the striker's job so easy. All he has to do is make the right connection. It's a lovely goal. So the action continues and France really beginning to run away with this now. The scoreline threatening to get ugly. Good-looking ball. Excellent refereeing. Advantage in operation. Chance to finish. And quite simply, wide of the target. Benzema Benzema shot attempted in it goes such a complete performance four in front now well just watch this again a change of pace a change of direction and a decent finish that's a very good goal And this is turning into something of a rout. 4-0. Five minutes to go. Well, that's how to break the spirit of the attacker. Can they take advantage? Oh, he looks threatening. Oh, tremendous goal! Technical excellence to finish that one off. Wonderful to have that in your repertoire. Well, here it is again. And the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Oh my goodness, it's so one-sided. 5-0 in this match. In with a chance. And the keeper getting across to stop it. Well, not a red card, just a yellow. Interesting one, Stuart. Well, I have to say, I think the referee's got that absolutely right. I don't think it was a red card. I'm not sure it was a goal-scoring opportunity. The referee blows for full time, it ends at a victory for the home team. No complaints from the fans here. You're absolutely right, Derek. Their attacking play was excellent, full of energy and pace, and the midfield completely dominated the game. It was a great all-round performance. Well, you know, I think Kylian Mbappe enjoyed himself. Your verdict on his performance tonight? Well, he looked a top player.